so hi everyone welcome back to data science in your pocket and deep seek has released a new model that is deep seek v3.2 and the special point about this model is they have introduced a new type of attention that is called as deep seek sparse attention i would be covering that particular algorithm in much more detail in the upcoming videos but for now we'll try to summarize the features of deep seek v3.2 and then we'll see all its benchmarks as well. The model is open source as we know and the model size is again 685 billion parameters quite usual to deep six performance. As you can see there are multiple things that the team has released here are the benchmarks and on the benchmark it is built over deep seek v3.1 terminus which was released a few days back if you remember. So now let's check out the details of the model and how to use it too. So it's present on hugging face. The model weights are released. You can check it out here. The file weights, all the weights are present here. So the new concept that the team has released that the team is focusing on is deep seek sparse attention instead of your regular attention. It is a fine grid sparse attention mechanism which reduces the complexity from L square to linear and maintains output quality. I will be discussing this, how it works in quite some detail in the upcoming videos. This is a new concept they have introduced. Apart from that, talking on the benchmarks on code forces, it has improved compared to 3.1 terminus. Similarly on browse.com, but on HMMT and other metrics, it's quite equal. So some gains have been observed, some minuses have been observed. The model hasn't outperformed everything, but it has introduced a new concept called as the deep six pass attention. Talking on the kernel stack, they have also used multiple kernels. So if you don't know, kernels are basically GPU functions that helps you for improving your computation over GPUs. So they have introduced three, they are using three types of kernels. One is tile lang, research friendly, readable, easier to hack. Deep game, high performance, production latency and paged versions are present and flash MLA, sparse attention, fast gather scatter and pattern specific. So these are three types of GPU kernels that the team has used for the model. This is a little complicated, so we are not jumping into the details of these kernels. There are certain limitations that are known, like one of them is it's experimental. The team has very clearly mentioned that on some of the metrics, it is observing a drop. Sparsity topology, poor mass selection loses essential signals at times kernel complexity yes we have seen they are using a stack of kernels so it can be a little difficult to deploy also and page indexer memory versus latency trade-off is there and it's not a silver bullet so you are improving on the latency but you are also taking a hit on the memory and that is quite observable in the metrics that are shown final thoughts it's a controlled experimental model that the team has released to introduce deep pass, deep six pass attention only what I feel not a major improvement on any other model but a new concept introduced. Code forces success is seen, math and reasoning needs more tuning and future direction I think promises base for hybrid approaches might be coming out from deep seek. So I think the wait for deep seek R2 still remains while they are releasing different versions of V1, V3.1 has come, 3.1 terminus then 3.2. I think this particular model v3.2 is usable on deep Seek's official chat that is deepseek.com so you can try out the model there too i will try out the model and let me know in the comment section how you feel about it thank you so much